guys it's Megan and when I'm starting to film this it's Friday morning and I'm working today but I've already been working for like an hour and it's only nine so I'm feeling really good I'm hoping to log off a little early today because I stayed on late last night started early this morning so I'm just feeling very productive this week and I had a three-day work week which was amazing but kind of forced me to be more productive like I truly believe in my soul that we should have either a four-day work week or a three-day work week because I am so much more productive and I want a long weekend every weekend. <laughs> so anyway, I am just feeling really good and I'm loving my fit today. It is so athleisure. I have a black champion sweatshirt that I just got. FYI, the whole outfit is black. Black Champion sweatshirt, so comfy. I love that the sleeves are pretty long. I wish they had it had like a thumb hole, but whatever. And then I have these Adidas like joggers, I guess, because they get, um, I don't know how to show this, they get like tighter around the ankles. So love this outfit, but I'm getting a little warm. Um, because I'm just like doing so much. So I'm gonna change my shirt, I think. So I'm not having like a sweatshirt on, but I really wanted to mention to you guys this fragrance combo that I've been obsessed with. So I have really loved the Into the Night Body Spray from Bath & Body Works since I discovered it at the semi-annual sale. Like it wasn't on sale, but I bought it then. Oh my God. It smells so good and I know they have a perfume of this and I would definitely buy that but it says it as raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk it is so delicious it's like a sweet like creamy sexy fragrance it's so good and then over the weekend, I went to Bath & Body Works on one of my days off, and I got the Into the Night Body Lotion, which I typically don't buy their body lotions anymore, but I just love this scent so much that I wanted to pick it up. So again, it has the same notes. So I have been putting the body lotion on, and then I discovered the perfect perfume to pair with it, and that is Lancome La Vie A Belle Intense Mint. This is so gorgeous on its own, but Into the Night pairs perfectly with it. Oh my god. Because it has that same sort of like fruity, like I think this has raspberry in it. It's like a fruity, creamy, sweet, really beautiful feminine fragrance. They just go so well together. It's not like they're dupes or anything, but they just pair perfectly with each other. And I have been wearing that like pretty much every day this week and I love it. So I wanted to mention that and yeah, I'm definitely getting pretty warm in this um, adorable athleisure outfit, but I'm going to change and then I have a day full of meetings. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> You guys, I just remembered that I had a dream last night. Oh, I got a new bed, by the way. I'm just so excited. I I can't wait to sleep in it again because I only slept in it for the first time last night and it was incredible. But I had very vivid dreams and I just remembered that <laughs> one of my dreams was basically that I didn't edit my vlog in time and so I was going to post like a note on my community tab that I would get my vlog out as fast as possible. <laughs> Literally, these are the dreams that I have about like editing my vlog, <laughs> which is so weird. Um, but I actually do have to edit my vlog, but I won't have to post anything about it because I'm going to do it in time. I'm just always down to the wire on Friday nights, and so I'm going to have to do that, but I just thought that was so funny. Like, literally, I was freaking out in my dream 
that I didn't post it on time and that people will be mad and be like, I look forward to this every Saturday. And I felt horrible. Like literally I had so much guilt, but I'm gonna post it on time. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm like so funny that I thought that I would be able to sign off early today. Actually hilarious. Um, I clearly did my makeup and I went off. I was like going balls to the walls. I have fake lashes on. I did so much more makeup than I've done in a while. And I used the Desert Monsoon. I always wanna say Desert Moonstone. Desert Monsoon palette from What's Up Beauty that they sent me a while ago. I used Humidity on my lid, so, so pretty. I used a combination of Dust Storm and Joshua Tree in my crease. And then for my outer V, I used Canyon, which is so, so pretty, like kind of a cherryish brown. And then I mixed Tempest with Joshua Tree for underneath my lash lines. So that is the look that I came up with. And I think it's really, really pretty. So I just went wild. I have no reason to be wearing makeup because I don't think I'm doing anything tonight. But I was just like over it. So I wanted to do something just for me. So I am trying to wrap up work. <sighs> and then I need to finish editing my vlog. So yeah. <laughs> Perkins has their pumpkin pancakes again. I know mine doesn't look as pretty because <laughs> I just chopped it all up. Oh yeah, here's Rachel's. Oh my God, you guys, they're incredible. And get extra whipped cream because it tastes so good with that. Mom and I just started watching Only Murders in the Building on Hulu and so far it's so good. I didn't realize what like the premise was, but basically these three characters um, are all obsessed with the same true crime podcast and then a murder or what they think is a murder happens in their building it, like where they live in New York and so then they are going to try to solve it themselves <laughs> and it just makes me think of myself and makes me think of you guys who are also into like thrillers and true crime and stuff like that and I can't wait to tell Alyssa about this because I think she would really love it as well so um, it's funny but also obviously <laughs> Has to do with murder so um, not everyone would like it but we're really enjoying it so far. I've been needing to dye my hair and I remembered that I bought this a while back the Kristen S uh, signature gloss in wild berry and it's this gorgeous like purplish reddish tone and it's a toning gloss so it's not like hair dye or anything but I'm going to try this out since I don't really need all over color like I'm going to use this all over but I just noticed my roots and stuff coming in so as kind of like an experiment before I re-dye my whole hair with like a permanent color again I am going to try this out so I'll show you guys the results tomorrow I'm packing up the presents I bought for Alyssa for her birthday and I wanted to show you guys this because I think this is such a cute gift for like best friends or sisters or whoever. It's called the Through Thick and Thin necklace from Brian Anthony's and it's basically two necklaces that one is a little bit thicker, one's a little bit thinner and they both have like a little rhinestone on it and so you can either each have one or I'm giving both of them to Alyssa and I just thought this was really sweet it has a beautiful sentiment and <laughs> I just hope she really likes it I have a few little things in there that I already wrapped up before I um decided to start filming this is something I need to give back to her that I accidentally brought home with me last time this is a pear cider from ikea so i'm giving that back to her then i have some perfect 10 hand masks from patchology and then a set of the lisa frank orly nail polishes that i also got but 
this is kind of the main gift so I wanted to show you this before I wrapped it up can you guys see how good my hair turned out the lighting isn't the best in the Duncan drive-thru oh my gosh now it just got even worse um, but it turned out so nice you can see it better in the Sun um, it's a little more red than I thought I thought it would be a little more purpley but that's fine and it was super easy the instructions said to like wet your hair in the shower and then put it on your soaking wet hair for 20 minutes so I was like I'm not gonna stand in the shower for 20 minutes so then I read a review where the person said they just got their hair wet with like by wetting their brush and brushing it through a few times and that it worked out even better so that's basically what I did I'm um, just at my sink and then I let it sit on my hair I think for only 15 minutes because it was starting to get so red that I was like scared <laughs> sometimes I get scared that it'll be too red um, even though I do like red hair but um, this is how it turned out I still need to like brush it and everything but yeah I think it looks really good and we'll see how long it lasts but um, I kind of just wanted it to be refreshed for um, seeing Alyssa today and thankfully it didn't go haywire but of course now I'm in the Duncan drive-thru their mobile ordering is like messed up at this location I don't know why so I'm gonna have to read out the order which I hate doing because I'm always scared that I'm gonna mess it up but um, wish me luck and then it's 9:20 now I want to leave here for Alyssa's around like 11 or 11 15 so yeah I just need to get ready basically I don't really have anything else that I absolutely need to do but yeah that's kind of what's going on here Go. thank you very much yep, you too Oh, it smells good. Oh man, I just remembered I was gonna bring my new car, um, like wallflower thing or whatever this is called from Bath and Body Works, like the car freshener. I bought new ones. I can't forget to put them in um, because I've literally had the same one in there since I got it like two years ago. So definitely doesn't have any more scent but just saying that smells good made me think of it so I'm gonna try not to forget when I get in the car again so I just finished getting ready and loving my kind of typical makeup brush my hair it's looking good and I decided to wear one of my go-to like summer fall transitional outfits this page denim jacket that i've had for a few years it is the most soft comfortable denim jacket ever and then this olive green and black striped like midi dress i don't know how to show you but it basically goes to my knees and then i'm gonna wear my nike sneakers and it's just a good like I said, transitional outfit, very comfortable, and it'll be in like the mid 70s, so I don't know if I need a jacket, but if I don't want it, I can like tie it around my waist and still have like, like I don't like this dress just like full on, like I feel like it needs to be broken up a little bit. So anyway, and then I'm just wearing some hoops. I have been, like thinking about getting my third hole pierced or something so thinking about that um, and then my Chanel lock necklace from Ann and Joseph and oh I wanted to tell you guys I tried out the new Ilya mascara and it's risky to try out a new mascara on a day you're going to be out and about all day but i really wanted to try it this is the um fullest volumizing mascara it definitely is super volumizing it looks so good and then transferring will be the like test of the day so i'll keep you guys posted or you'll be able to see if it <laughs> transfers it makes me look crazy but their other mascara 
never did that to me um so i'm very thankful that they sent this to me and yeah so i'll let you guys know how it goes but i was like i'm not wearing fake lashes today because i'm just not it got steamy since the last time i was outside but i did remember to bring my new car fragrance thingy i have my christmas cactus like holder and i got the pumpkin pecan waffles so i'm heading to Alyssa's now i have her present waters purse jacket coffee water i think we're good to get Smells so good in here. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I love all your Halloween decorations. Oh my gosh, you even have a vampire nutcracker? Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh my god, look at this, you guys. We don't know if it's a wedding or a quinceanera. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love her dress so much. <laughs> Can't even pick it up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm filming <laughs> this random girl. <laughs> we made it. To Phoenixville, Alyssa's here, obviously. This is my late birthday celebration. Yes, 29. <laughs> Looking fine. <laughs> and we're gonna rent an apartment here. We're already scoping it out. And we're on this like moving, swinging table, swinging table thing. It's pretty sweet. And I love this under the shade. No. So then I won't get burned. <laughs> Everything came out so quickly. I got the breakfast, brunch, Burger, grilled cheese, yeah, sorry. With brisket also, and egg. And then we got the fried pickles. Oh, we got apple juice mimosas. And then Alyssa got the- Great American grilled cheese with mac and cheese. That's so cool, and brisket. And we are digging in, everything came out so fast, we're living our best lives. So this is where we had lunch, Great American Lodge, or pub, pub, whatever. <laughs> and then now we're going into refinery, next to our future apartments. <laughs> I'm trying on this sweatshirt thing, it's so soft. And then this jacket. I know, Alyssa <laughs> is gonna fight me over this if I like it, cause there's only one. <laughs> now we're going to our fave place, Threads. We're here at Steel City Brewery. Coffee house. coffee house and they have a bunch of delicious looking fall drinks I'm gonna get the shaken pumpkin cold brew so we got some of the most delicious looking stuff and our drinks are amazing I got the shaken pumpkin cream cold brew Alyssa got the cinnamon bun, cinnamon bun. does that have your stamp of approval yeah. yes and we both got the s'mores donut homemade at this place and we're sitting in this little corner little on these nook. little <laughs> book nook I love that <laughs> So it's a little hot for my jacket, which was the whole like finishing touch of my outfit. So yeah, but I'd rather not sweat. So <laughs> this is what happens when me and Alyssa go shopping. And I take the small cart <laughs> yeah, we got the smallest cart. I got a huge painting. <laughs> She's getting a huge, awesome sunburst like mirror here. thing, sunburst mirror. Look at my painting. Oh my god, I'm gonna put it over my bed. It's so weird and cool. I love it. Now we're at Tilly's and I cannot believe the outfit that I'm wearing. <laughs> I know it's really weird, but I'm here for it. This shirt I picked up as a joke, but I ended up really liking it and I think I'm going to be Olivia Rodrigo for Halloween. <laughs> and I already have my brutal hat in a similar color. And these jeans are so weird, they're cool and i just absolutely love them and i'm getting this adidas shirt 
it's just like plain black and it's on sale plus 30 percent off and then i found this shirt which j-hope wears in the bts um dynamite music video so i'm getting one for me and one for rachel okay we are never allowed in tilly's again we just bought everything in the store <laughs> One thing was a gift, yeah. <laughs> but still, it was so fun. We're gonna show you our haul later. Guess where we are now? Cause we just can't help ourselves. Why do you feel like we're like twins with our <laughs> twins? That's always <laughs> You guys, I saw a pair of Steve Madden's exactly like this at a boutique today, and they were like $130. I just found these at Marshalls, Nicole Miller. For 35 literally almost a hundred dollars less and they're practically identical and they're amazing like literally amazing so obviously gonna get these Moki <laughs> want that dog Rito dog Rito <laughs> I think she likes it <laughs> it's like too big Oh yeah, she got it, woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. I just got home and immediately put up my new, it's a print with some painting on it, and I absolutely love it. It is perfect, perfect, perfect. I just think it's so cool and beautiful. I just really love it. It's so weird and so cool. And I already put up two other things that I bought. I got this, um, like a reading lamp basically, because I've really needed additional light for when I read in bed. So this was perfect. It's gold with a um, glass like lampshade basically. And then you can turn it on and off with a little like clicky thing and then this I loved so much it's a like iridescent stacked pumpkin that says basic witch <laughs> which is perfect for me because I am basic and proud and I just love it so I think I'm going to decorate for Halloween sooner this year um, but I just had to put up my new little painting, big painting actually, it's very big, um, but it's the perfect size, um, and I just absolutely love it. I also got these adorable, I guess they could be shoes, but I'm gonna wear them as slippers from Marshalls yesterday. They're by Minnetonka, and they're like definitely very sturdy, so you could wear them outside. Um, but they're super, super cozy, and I've been needing new slippers like crazy, and I love like having space for my feet to breathe, <laughs> like my toes get very claustrophobic, so I sized up in these because the true, like my true size felt tight, so I just sized up and they are perfect and they were like $25 I think. Sunday morning and I'm running out to get coffee. This is my outfit today. Got this shirt yesterday at Tilly's and my favorite Adidas sweatpants and Nike sneakers so clearly I'm coming for the athleisure community today. You're not supposed to mix brands, but look at me go. <laughs> Never mind, it's too damn hot, which is my least favorite part about transitioning from summer to fall is it's always slightly too warm. So I switched into biker shorts so I don't sweat to death. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I just found the best hack yet. So I got my mom's typical grande vanilla cream cold brew with extra sweet cream and then for mine because it was so hot I wanted to get extra ice so I put it in a venti cup and I feel like you actually get more. I know this always is like this conspiracy that if you get a larger cup with extra ice you get more and it's probably just the volume like shifting with the ice but I swear 
they gave me more cold brew for the price of a grande. I don't know, but pretty good hack, especially if you like extra ice. Now I have my big pumpkin with stars lit up. So this one says on the one side, do what scares you. <laughs> but I just really liked how this looked. I need to take that off but with like the stars and the, it lights up I just think that looks so cool so I have that there and then I put my basic witch here for now and then I like kind of clean this up and I literally love this painting so much it like brightens up my whole room because my other painting was so dark so love how everything is turning out. I wanted to give you guys a reading update. I finished Home Before Dark this week and I loved it. I have read almost all of Riley Sager's books and this is definitely my favorite so far. I still have to read Final Girls which many people say is his best so I need to get my hands on that ASAP, but I love this. Perfect, perfect, perfect for this spooky season. And it's just a really great like haunted house story. And the ending I just thought was perfect. It really wrapped everything up like amazingly. So really loved it. And that's not typically the type of story I read. Like I'm not super into like haunted house stories but I did really enjoy that. Then this is the book that I picked for my book club for um, September, What Comes After by Joanne Tompkins and so I'm going to read that this month and if you guys also read this or if you have read it definitely stay tuned for my live book club meeting at the end of September, like the first of October. So yeah, can't wait to read that. But I think what I'm going to start today is The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. This is another like thriller, as you can see from the blood splatters on the book. This was recommended to me by one of my friends at Caitlin's birthday party a few like weeks ago or a month ago at this point. And so I've had it for a while, but I need to get into it. So I think this is what I'm going to read next. I stayed up to finish reading this oh my god pretty crazy crazy book I liked it and I'm glad I finished it today because it wasn't like like it was just such an ongoing story and it was really fast-paced so I like that and I'm glad that I finished it the ending was wild definitely pretty disturbing. <laughs> I wouldn't say is my favorite thriller but it's definitely a good thriller and pretty creepy. I would say it was pretty creepy and pretty depressing um, but I read it so another book down and now I have to go to bed and be ready for another full work week. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this weekend vlog and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye!